Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we're going to do a art journal page today. Another art journal page. I'm having a blast doing the art journal pages. Now, I'm going to be using Deco Art supplies today, mostly. And I say mostly because I don't have many stencils from them. I thought I did, but I don't. I do have this. But I don't have, I thought I had much more. I don't know why, but I have this. So I don't know. We will see what I'm going to do, but I am going to use their products and let me set those there. I want to let you guys know, I'm going to put the Blitzy link down below. Blitzy is having Deco art products on sale and they have the uh, deco decoage deco page I guess that's what it's called uh, on sale and you can get a bottle this size for five dollars and 24 cents and if you want to get a smaller bottle you can get it for 224 and then for a two ounce bottle you can get it for a dollar 61 so Check that out. I'll put the link, like I said, down below for Blitzy. They also have decoupage paper on sale, and they have a ton of that. And you get, how many pages do you get? Three package. So you get three different pages for, I don't know what it is, uh, $4.13. And they're 12 by 16 pages, which is big. They also have on sale... Um, the Dazzling Metallics. Now, I didn't get any metallic paints, but I use metallic paint, as you all know, like crazy. And they have the two ounces on sale for $1.67, as well as other things on there, like your um, glass paint markers and writers. And they have a bunch of, uh, which I, I, I swear I got one of them, and I don't know exactly where it is right now because I have all my boxes everywhere, but you can write, they're the Twinkles writers where you can write with all the different colors, and it's $1.67. I love them. I love using them in my art journal, and I love them, and I have quite a few of them. I know I have the black. I've used it before on videos and the gold, and they have all kinds of stuff. They have, uh, uh, oh, what the heck is that called? Let me just look at the name, look at the name, which isn't Deco Art. This is something else. Let me, I thought you guys might be interested. I want to say Derwent. They have Faber-Castells, uh, texture paste stencils and more on sale. And they have the Derwent graphic line markers and pens. They have tons of uh, glass stencils from Deco Art. And um, all kind, just all kinds of stuff. So please check the link out down below if you're interested. Um, because like I said, it's a great price and you can't beat it. And I get, you know, it, it's no, no, you know, how do you beat good prices? And you don't have to leave your house. That's what I love. Now, I will tell you this as a disclaimer. And I don't know if it's a disclaimer. I always want to say that though. But some people don't like Blitzy. I love Blitzy. I buy off Blitzy all the time because I research, I know prices, I know what my store sells things for, and you can use a 40% off coupon from Michael's or Joann's or AC Moore or anything like that, uh, Hobby Lobby, and you can use that off of one item when you buy from Blitzy as well as get their low prices. I've never had a problem from this company. They've always, I've always got my order correct. Um, it got here fast. I had one problem when I first started with Blitzy. I wrote them, they took care of it right away. Um, and it was no big deal. So I don't have any problems with Blitzy. Some people don't like it. I happen to love it. Make your own decisions. And that's all I got to say about that. So anyway, let's get to getting. Okay, so this is my journal that I made out of the magazine. And I'm going to put the link for that video uh, around here somewhere. And I always say that. But if I don't put it in where you're watching check out down below. It'll definitely be down there. The reason sometimes we've got to still work on our front, what we're going to work on. Um, the reason sometimes I forget to put it in the video is because um, sometimes YouTube takes forever to upload. So I will fill out all the information on the bottom, the name of the video, the tags, all that type of thing. And I'll put the link down there below. And then once it uploads, which sometimes takes five hours, I don't know why. Sometimes it takes three minutes, sometimes five hours. Don't ask me why. Um, but I make sure that I put the link down below in the description so y'all get it. And then I forget about the other one. So if I ever forget, just remind me. Okay, so this was just the page that I put all that extra, uh, 
paint on it that I had from my other page that I did in my other junk journal. Let me look. Let me find it. Here we go. All right. Remember we did what does the fox say? There's our little fox. So I took all the extra paint that I had left over and I did it in here. So I'm kind of alternating the uh, magazine brochure type uh, journal that we're making. And this is our junk journal. So I'm kind of going back and forth working in it. So that's what we're doing. One video I'm going to have coming up maybe tomorrow, I think I'm going to do it, is where I do both the covers and finish it. Because I have to finish this cover and I got to finish the other cover. So let's go. All right. So I have this. Now, I think I want to add some texture. And by adding texture, I'm going to use a stencil. And I just want to use, I have a new stencil system I'm putting up too that my husband got me. As soon as he finds time, he's going to put it up for me. So I'm excited about that because I just have stencils everywhere. All right. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Angie's art channel, Angie Lupa's Life, did a video that she saw um, Julie Belzer do about uh, how to do your stencils and wrap them and use them. And Angie has a great video on that. Um, where you take your, I always call it wasabi tape, it's washi tape, but where you take it and or your duct tape or whatever you have and just put it around so you build up a little bit of a uh, holdy thing <laughs> and that you can move it and it doesn't affect the stencil itself. So that's pretty cool. I want to do that too. I just haven't done it. Okay, so we have two things here. I have from Deco Art Media and I have Deco Art Dimensional Effects. This is paintable texture paste and this is gesso. So obviously, whatever you have at home, if you have gesso or you have dimensional effects, I have a recipe for uh, gesso, which I will uh, remember. I would try to remember the link down below because so many of you asked me for that. But um, and a lot of you have asked me again to make a video of that. So I'm in the process of doing that as well. So let's just see what both of these items do. And this is what this looks like. This is dimensional effects paintable texture paste. So let's see what this bad boy does. Now... Also, Deco Art has these great uh, texture tools, and I'm so excited to use them. Because I make my own out of cardboard. So I'm very anxious to say what these are like. So they come in, it's hard to see because they're clear. See that? Yeah, see on my hand? That. Oh, very exciting. That. Oh, this has two sides. That side that side then we have that side and this has two sides too it's hard really hard to see because they're plastic i'm going to work with this one because they all have the uh clear side the straight side rather with no texture and i'm gonna have to paint them with alcohol markers i'm gonna tell you the truth because i'm gonna lose these they're gonna be right in front of me and i'm not gonna be able to find them so i'm gonna have to use like uh, a sharpie or paint pen or something so i can at least see what they have now, I'm going to have to take this out with something. I'll just use a smaller one here. I'm just going to use the smaller one for now. I'm going to take a little bit. Maybe I'm just going to use the small one, I guess. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to try this in the gesso and see which one's the best. All right, and I'm just putting this on. I don't need it to be too... Uh, Perfect, because I don't believe in perfection. If you watch me, you know. I just say do it. That's my thing. Just do it. All right, so that's all I'm going to put on with that. I'm not going to go in for any more. And let's lift this up. Can we lift it up? I don't know. Can we do it? Yes, we can. All right, so that's that. That is the paintable texture paint. Now, I don't wipe off my stencils. You guys know that. But when I'm using any kind of medium uh, that I'm using with my stencils that can dry and make it bumpy, I try to give it a quick wipe. Um, and something else that I, you guys should try if you're using this with your stencils is have a wet rag or paper towel next to you, fairly wet. So when you're done with this, you can just set it on that and then continue on doing your journal page. 
And then when you're done, done it kind of keeps this uh, a little moist that you can wipe it off with a baby wipe or paper towel or the wet towel that you're wiping, you know, that you have it laying on so it doesn't dry. So that's just a little tip. But I will do that after because I'm not going to waste your time watching me wipe off stencils. All right. And then I just kind of, you know, I'm cheap. I, I just save everything. Apparently I had yellow on there that I lifted up, but I don't care. All right. So that's that. Now let's try. Do I want to do gesso? I want to see what this gesso is like and how it takes how it takes uh, paint. So I'm going to do a little bit of gesso down here in a stencil. And this is what the gesso looks like. White, pretty much the same. And we're going to find the stencil. Talk about being prepared, huh? All right, I'm just going to grab what I can grab. You know, you all seen this. Now look, do as Kelly says not as she does i did not wipe this stencil off when i was using uh molding paste or modeling paste texture paste whatever um i didn't wipe it off now i mean you know it'll come off look at that oh wow i went to town on that one you know if i soak it in some hot water hopefully it'll come off if not it just adds texture for me but some people don't like that so it depends on what you like all right so i'm just going to do this this just with the gesso oh that's nice and fluid though and I'm going to put it on here and scrape so I get all that extra off. Nice. And gesso is not, you know, you, you use molding paste, modeling paste, texture paste. Uh, you can use gesso as well, but, you know, I also have a recipe for how to make gesso too. But you can definitely use it for this kind of thing. Now, here's what you can do. If you want it to be thicker than it's going to be, you know, than this gesso, uh, and they have different types of gesso. You can get clear, black, white. You can add color to this to make it a color that you're using on your painting. But uh, if you want to make this a little thicker, give it a second to set, maybe a minute or so. Sing a song. We all love to sing songs. Um, and then go back and put another layer on so it goes on top of that layer that you put on already um, and makes it a little thicker. But, you know... That's up to you. Now you can see it's a little uh, watery uh, do, because it's it's gesso. It's no big deal. And you did get texture there. So we'll let that dry and see what that's like. I'm going to set that there. Not going to worry about that. I'm going to scrape off because that's something for somewhere else. And then I'm going to do this to clean it off, right? I'm just going to do some lines in it add a little texture down here. I don't even know what kind of page I'm doing yet. Right now I'm just playing. All right, so there's that. Let's put the gesso away because I will spill it. But let me put these away. All right, so I don't have my uh, heat gun plugged in. I'm in the middle of kind of really uh, organizing this room and getting some things put up uh, how I want it. So kind of things are a little disarray, which my, let's face it, my heat gun's been unplugged for a few weeks uh, now since I got the kittens because I had to unplug it for the heating pad. Um, but uh, it'll be plugged in. It'll be plugged in soon, but I'm not going to be able to dry that. So we pretend like this works, <laughs> and it doesn't. Okay, so this is basically dry, as you can see. You can touch it. It's a little humid here today, so it's going to take longer than I care to wait. I get too excited when I'm art journaling. So the next thing we're going to do is try some of the uh, Deco Art Media Misters. This is yellow. Black I probably won't use. You know what? Maybe I'll do these left. This is shimmer. This is yellow green. One of my favorite colors. Let's do, let's do some painting on here first. We'll do the shimmer last. Let me try... How about interference violet? And I got a video coming up showing what the interferences are and explaining them. So let's just put a couple drops. And let's see here. Where's my paintbrush? Here. Great. And I'm just going to spread this on. As you can see, these are iridescent, and I'll lift it up so the light can sh 
show you. Probably be better once it's dry. Let's try some of their paint. This is antiquing cream. Don't want to use that. I want to lighten this page up a little bit. Let's use some cerulean blue. Yeah. And I'm just going to. Now, I think because these are um, fluid acrylics, which I love, I'm going to get out my. Uh, once I get this situated here, I'm going to get out my palette so I can pour a little bit of each color in so I have them. Because I don't want to overuse them and I don't want to use them not, you know, have enough to that I want to use. All right, and I'm just going over this molded paste. Now, because we're using magazine, it's going to wrinkle just a little bit. It's not a big deal. If you gesso, it might, you know, it might help that a little bit. But regardless, any water you get in it. Anything with water in it. And paints have water. Sprays have water. A little bit of that color. I'm just trying out the colors right now. I want to try out the sprays in a bit. This is ultramarine blue. Yeah. Let's see what this is like. Do this down here. A couple drops. Look how fluid that is. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to get out of canvas for, to do a painting on. All right, and we're just doing an art, uh, art journal page. And again, you could do this, you know, with anything that you have. Anything that you have. So don't, don't think you can't do an art journal page. This is Quata, I never could say this word, Quata Cryone Violet. Let's put this down here. Now I'm not rinsing my brush. I want to see how it works with it. I know when I'm using, oh, oh look at that. I'm a, uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. I just want to like bathe in that color. I want to lipstick that color. Would it be wrong if I walked around with that on my lips as lipstick? Would anybody know the difference? Maybe Deco, Deco Art should, uh, have a line of lipsticks to match their paints. I say that. Hashtag lipsticks that match your paint colors. Look at that. Oh, it's so delicious. I might have to rinse my brush for that because that was darker than I anticipated. Not complaining because I love it. Uh, those are my favorite colors I go to the dark. Oh, let's do some yellow. Hansa Yellow Medium. See if that can clear up. Probably not. My camera's all chotted today, but let's do a little bit up here and mix it a little bit with the blue. Can't wait to do a do the uh, mixed media angel. I'm gonna be doing that this week coming up. That's gonna be the project for the week. So excited! This spreads. Look at this. How delicious! Oh, my poor cats are crying in the background. This flipped up. I don't know what to do with that. Let's flip it back this way. It needs to be. I think I did it, the glue didn't glue to the thing right there. Let me see my glue real quick. Just using my glue stick. Just going to give it a mush. Going to stick it down. I don't care if it gets wrinkled. I love the texture. Now, tomorrow I have, uh, I'm going to, so many of you have sent me pictures. So many of you have sent me emails uh, doing your own junk journals and doing your pages and I'm blown away, they're beautiful. So I'm gonna mention some of them tomorrow and see if I could put them in. Let's see how uh, how fancy Kelly can be and see if I can add some of them in so you, you guys can see them in, the, in a video of them. Cause I just wanna, I, all your artwork is just fantastic. And I'm, I, I'm gonna add other artwork too. It's just not gonna be for these, but you guys are just, just fantastic. That yellow is, I think, my favorite. <laughs> that net, look how nice those two go together. Oh my goodness, I just want to roll in it. All right. So, this is Quinoco Drone. I can't ever say that word. Red. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Over here. Well, no, you know what? First, let's show you the iridescent oh yeah i can see that let's see if you can see it let me see if i can get my camera to be 
See how that has that purple sheen to it? Like it's purple. That is that interference purple. Look at that. See how you can't see it there as much? But then see as I turn it. And it gets shimmery. Yep, there you go. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I'm just making a mess on the page, which why not? It's an art journal. It's to play with. Look at that color. That is a nice color. I'm just going to, I'm just spreading it everywhere. I love it. Love it. Love it. Going over things. I just want to see what they were like, how they act and what they do. Okay. I think I've, how many colors can she fit on her art journal page? All right. I'm going to use some sprays and see how those react as I'm doing my journal page. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what journal, what I'm doing with this journal page. Oh, I guess I'll end up uh, when I'm done figuring out, it might just be a very abstract page with colors. I don't know. But let me see here. I got some greens. I'm just looking at these other colors. If there's anything else I want to put on here. Ooh, cobalt turquoise. I might save that for next time. Here's another ear interference blue. Titan buff, which is I love. English red oxide. Orange. Maybe I'll put a little orange on there. Yeah. So many beautiful colors. Okay. All right. A little bit of orange, and then I'm going to see what that's like here. I know I'm covering up the interference, but I'm going to say, I want to say. Look at that. That's on top of all that. Look how bright. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I want to test one thing, though, because I'm big on watering down my paints, and these are fluid. So they already spread. Oh yeah. They already spread deliciously. So, oh yeah. Look at that. Yep. Noise, noise. All right. All right. Okay. So now what I want to try to do, hmm. I want to get some spray on these, but I don't know if I want to use stencils. That's the thing. Let me see what color sprays are here. So we have yellow. This is shimmer. Okay. So there's shimmer colors and there's regular colors. Okay. It takes me a minute. I'm a little slow. All right. I'm not going to do shimmers. I'm going to put on my shimmers for another thing because I want to um, do those separately so I can see what those are like. Let's just try the regular misters. I'm so in love with these paints. A lot of you have written me and you have uh, said that you guys had got, had applied and got your application approved. So congratulations to you guys. I think it's great. You guys are gonna love them. All right, so I have my mixed media page done. Let's just, Let's just see what these colors come out like. I don't think I'm going to have necessarily a theme. I don't know. And I don't know if these are permanent. I should probably read. Let me read. Permanent. Oh. Oh, why, hello there, Deco Art Media, misters. They are permanent. Shake it, baby, shake it. All right. Let me do my yellow first. Oh, my goodness gracious, I'm in heaven. Okay, my poor kittens are screaming. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Oh, look at that. Watch. Look how that covers. Oh, I got to lift it up. You don't even know. You don't even know. Look. Look how that covers that delicious color. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be a spray, uh, a sprayer today. Let's see how they mix together. This is the orange. Let's go on this purple right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I hope these don't clog. Please don't clog. I'm going to let you know if they clog because that's, I don't like it. If they clog, but so far, oh my goodness. Look at that green. You guys know I love green. 
Look at that. Oh my God, it's graffiti page. That's what I'm doing, graffiti page, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this color is primary magenta. Oh, 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 oh. And you get a real fine, which I'll show you. Let me show you on different paper because I'm, I'm kind of doing it like this because I like this kind of graffiti look. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Let's do it on here. Not on the wolf. Look at my little wolf. My wolf says hello. Okay. Let's just do it on here. Watch. You get like the full spray. So if you're doing a stencil or whatever, you definitely get the full spray. I was, I'm going like this, this way, and only a little bit, just pushing a little bit, and then you get that kind of texture. See that? I don't know. Let me turn the page. Let me see. So if I hold it like this, and I hold it level with the paper and just give it a, see how you get like a splatter effect? So you can get both effects. I am excited and knocking everything on my desk because... That's what I do when I'm excited. Oh, what colors haven't I used yet? I might have to put some shimmer on here because I'm going all out full graffiti. Call me graffiti girl. Okay, this is primary cyan. Let's get it over this way. Let's turn, let's be fun because why not? Let's all be fun. Look at that how awesome. Oh, I almost, almost did the F-bomb. Look how awesome. I want to put a little lighter down here, but right now I'm going to hit it going this way because I just changed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, life is good. All right. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little light color down here, a little bit more. Look at that. Look at that. I'm a graffiti artist, and I didn't even know. So now you know. Look at that. And I don't want to touch it. I, you know what I would normally say to you is take a piece of paper, right? I love this background. I don't even know if I want to do the background. I think that's just called the graffiti page. Let me hold it up. But I would think, I'm afraid if I take another piece of paper and lay it on top to get that other uh, part, it's going to smash that texture because it has so, look at that texture. Oh my goodness. And you can see, I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but it definitely has all that texture from the uh, from the texture paste underneath. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what weighs up. And that's, that's my normal life. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to ruin it by pushing. No, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm too excited, but I'm going to leave it like that. How exciting. How exciting. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little art journal page. Look how fun. We just threw some stuff down, trying product. And you don't, if you don't have this product, use whatever you have. Use whatever you have. And you will get, you know, the graffiti look. This is just going to be this art journal page for this. I am sorry my arm's going over everything. I'm just very excited. Very excited. I love that. I would like that on my wall, but it's on the magazine. So what are you going to do? But I'm very excited. So let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, next, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take a break from our art journal page uh, because I have my junk journal yet that we want to do uh, another page. And you guys, you guys, I went through my emails this morning because I haven't been on the computer in a few days. And uh, I went through my emails this morning. And you guys are loving the uh, art journal pages and the junk journals. Like I said, you guys are making them and, and doing them and you guys love them. So I'm just so so thrilled. I'm so happy when I see you guys' email. So I'm not going to give that up because you guys love seeing uh, me work in my art journal uh, from start to finish. So you guys work with me and I'm really grateful for that. But I did promise a bunch of people that I would do my um, uh, uh, mixed media angel on the woods and I'm going to be doing that. And that's going to be a couple videos. They're going to be long. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get another journal, art journal page in the middle of them. So whoever doesn't want to watch that video or follow along or whatever can still have an art journal page in it. I have a lot of good stuff coming up, a lot of good giveaways. So if you're not already, please subscribe so you can keep up to date on all my videos and my giveaways and all my techniques and new stuff I have coming up. 
And if you're already subscribed, I love you. You guys know that. I love all of you. I feel like you guys are, you, you guys just get me through days that I just don't even want to get through. And you guys make me so happy. Um, I'm going to do, I want to do a shout out. Like I said, I'm going to try to edit a video to put uh, people's art in that you guys send me, that, that who, those who let me. Um, I got a lot of uh, random acts of kindnesses sent out. So keep your eyes open. And... Oh, so much, so much, so much, so much. But that's it for today. I'm not going to keep you forever uh, with me talking, talking, talking. But I love you guys. I love your support. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. And um, check out the Blitzy. The link uh, for Blitzy is down below. Um, so if you want to try out any of these products, they have them on Blitzy. They're very cheap. Even if you buy one for yourself and use the 40 off coupon, um, you know, pick your favorite color and play with it. That's how I started out. I would just start going, picking out my favorite color of paint all those years ago and, uh, you know, and, and just start paint and just start painting. And the great thing is with acrylic paint is that you can mix and match in with your other, you know, paints that you have. So, but keep an eye out because I have a few giveaways coming up. So I love you guys. And let me know what you think about this down below. Uh, let me know if you have not already. Let me know if you guys made your own junk journals. Uh, or magazine journals and make sure you let me see what you guys do. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Bye-bye